Emulsion 5 free template giveaway. This template is really simple and it's meant for beginners to get to grips with using 3D text and a 3D environment. So let's get over into Motion 5 and I'll show you exactly um, how we use it. So okay, here we are in Motion 5 and all we have simply got in this, um, in our layers pane right here. So all you would do is you would um, just open this file, download the file from the description below, open the file with Motion 5 and then you will get this view here. So in our layers um, right here, you'll notice we've got three groups. We've got a text group, and if I expand these groups with these little arrows, we've got a light group, and we've also got the floor. Now it's important that you keep the floor as the bottom layer, because if you moved it above any of these layers, then you wouldn't see the text. If you moved it above the text group layer, that is. You, the text group, you wouldn't see the text. So it's important that the floor stays here. Now like I say, this is just meant for beginners or you know sort of intermediate people to mess around with motion 5 and just to see what you can do it's just a template that's already there for you and basically the template runs a little like this so if we play through our playhead we've got two lights we've got a blue one at the top and a red one at the bottom and one goes from left one goes to right you watch the floor also it's blurred it becomes unblurred and then the floor blurs again the floor reflection so we've got a reflective floor so you watch it blur it's blurred it unblurs itself slightly and then it blurs again so you could add cameras to this zoom in zoom out there's lots of things that you could do to this let me show you um, the things that you can do with the layers group that, that that are there in place already so the text group we just unclick the little um, padlock here because I've locked everything and we go into the text group if we go this text here if we wanted to change the text we highlight that layer right here we go to the text here in our inspector and we could change the um, the 3D materials and all that stuff right here in the appearance but format all we want to do change the text right here and then you would just put your text here like so um, also you could um, change the the color of the text um, but just just remember we've got we've got lights and they are a certain color so that would affect the color of the text but you can change the font quite easily right here um, and change any fonts that you want likewise with the layout you could choose it to type on or, or not type in as the case may be but that's basically the text you look into the inspector and you can do whatever it is you that you would do with normal text so i'm just going to lock that so remember to unlock it the lights at the moment we've got the blue light which goes from um, left to right as you're looking at it on the screen and the red light is keyframed and goes right to left if you wanted to change the these keyframes you just simply drag there's lots of things that you can do with these keyframes and um, you could drag the speed change the speed remove the keyframes and add your own keyframes but like I said it's just there for you to get used to the environment and to practice if you want to so I'm just gonna obviously you could change the color of the lights right here in the inspector um, I'm just going to lock that up and uh, minimize that layer and the floor and um, there's, there's a few things you could do with the floor. The floor is quite stretched out at the moment but if we went into um, the style of the floor again we could change the color if we went into the properties um, we'd have to unlock it and then all these things will become available to us um, and this is where the blur amount is keyframed right here the re reflectivity so you could change that um, it is totally down to you and it, as I keep saying, it's just there for you to mess about with and get used to playing around in a Motion 5 environment. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this template is of some use to some people out there. Um, please feel free to leave a, um, a comment below. And as always, the resources will be in the description to this video. Thanks a lot for watching.